you're watching the first video ever posted to this channel. And I'm excited to say that because this is just the beginning of many great things to come. Hi, I'm Eddie, and I'm part of the media team here at SDRM Lakeside. We're recording this video to present to you our new church website, to show you some of the tools and features you can find there, and give you an update of what happened in the past couple months. Let's begin. To find the church website, type sdarmlakeside.org, and this will take you straight to our homepage. This website helps us accomplish two things. First, to be a tool for us members, and second, to be a channel for others, something that helps them find out more about us and what we believe. On the homepage, the first thing you'll see is the big announcement, New Church. We're relocating to Granite Bay. Having this as the first thing you see shows that we are here with open arms, ready to say hi and receive anyone. Also, we are trying to update the background as the construction is advancing. This way, you're able to get a real sense of progress. Going down, the first section you see is our beliefs. This is important for new people that want to know more about us. Here, you can find a list with all our beliefs, and you can also find and download the PDF. If you scroll down, you can find all the sections, the Godhead, the Father, and if you click on the plus sign on the right, the section expands and you can see the content. Back to our homepage, next section is our YouTube section. As you all very well know, our services are live streamed every Sabbath from 11 a.m. We're getting there early to set up the equipment and you can only imagine how excited we are to have our new place of worship, a place where we don't have to tear down all the equipment every Sabbath. Next section is the building project. And this is where things get interesting and a little bit more technical. If you click on Donate, this will take you to our fundraising page. Here you'll see the main fundraising video, which we're still working on. And if you scroll down, you see our progress. If you remember, on the 25th of February, 2023, we had a very important church business meeting. At that meeting, the building committee presented to us all the information they had at the time about the project. They presented to us two options and we all voted and agreed that a couple things should be implemented. First was a second tithe. We all took the commitment that we would uh, put aside for this project a second tithe. Second, we needed to have a possibility to do online recurring donations, which we now can, and we'll get to that in a second. And third was a commitment to have a donation box always available at the entrance of the church. And this is how this table came to be. Maybe this is a site you got used with, but please, next time you see it, pause and take a second to reflect. Remember this project, remember our goal, because life is busy and it would be so sad to allow this project and all the many answered prayers to be forgotten. And this is why this table is so important. It's meant to remind us and keep this project at the forefront of our minds. Since February 25th, we started counting. And this is where you can check the progress. We have a progress bar, and I think this is a great time to congratulate everyone for hitting the $400,000 mark. We are now at $430,000. And this should encourage everyone to give more and more, to help us get closer and closer to the finish line. Under the progress bar, we have a chart that shows how much money was raised every week since. And you also have a monthly view. For me personally, this is my favorite part of this website because as simple as it is, this is the part that gives me hope. Hope that this dream of ours can become reality. In the next section, you find out how can you help. And the first quote here I really like, if you build God's house, he will build yours. Here you have two choices. One on the left is where you can submit a one-time or recurring donation. And the one on the right is something that we're still working on at the moment, but I will explain more in just a second. If you click on Donate, this will take you to our donation page. We're processing all our donations through PayPal. And let's do a demo so you can see how it works in case you're not familiar yet. Here on top, you can choose between a one-time, weekly, and monthly donation. Uh, let's do weekly. Next, it will ask you to select the amount. And then, where do you want this money to go? By default, you will have the new building fund, but you can change it to any of the options. 
And then you have this line right here, and depending on your amount, this number will be different. And we tried so much to find an online payment method uh, to be free, but it's so hard because this is a processing fee that we can never really get rid of. If you know any other way, please reach out to us and let us know. But uh, this line gives you the option to cover the fees. So um, if you donate $100, we will get $100. Any settings you make here will apply to all of your recurring transactions. Um, it will though ask you to create a PayPal account if you don't have one yet, just to manage your subscription and if you want to cancel it, you can do so at any time from that account. If you wish not to donate this way, you can click here and this will take you straight back to our homepage. Now you may be wondering, why are we even considering an online recurring donation system? And that's a good question. Let's say you take the commitment to put a $100 bill in the envelope and put it in the plate at church every Sabbath. That's great. But what happens when, for example, we have a, an event and the church is closed? That money is not there anymore. And just to back up what I said, uh, let's take a look again at our weekly chart. If you look at week 7 and 8, you see that week 7 we had $0. And week 8 we had $480. We gradually picked up after that, but it took us quite a couple weeks to get back on track. What happened was that we had the field conference at Moriah Heights and our church was closed. So no plate, no envelope, no $100 bill. And this system is here to help us, to make this process more consistent. Now about the other choice, as you all know, in order to keep the cost down, we took the commitment that we will do all the finished work ourselves. So we had this idea to create a place where people that are willing to help can submit their contact information along with their specialty trade, and we will send out a notification with an estimated time and reminders when we will be ready for them to perform their tasks. I am a strong believer that with good planning, you can accomplish great things. And this is even more important on a job site. But this whole thing is still in the works because we focus our attention on other more important things. Back on the homepage, if you scroll down past the donation, you see that we now have a local church calendar. This shows you a couple things like who's going to be our guest speaker and other events related to our local church. And in the future, we hope to get even more information for you to find here. Back to homepage again. If you scroll down, you will find our last section. And this one is still in the works as well. Um, this will only come in hand when we will have our new location. At that point, we'll need more people to engage and start helping with the media. And we have this section that will be dedicated just for that. Next, if you go all the way back at the top, in the menu bar, you have the contact tab. This will show you our current place of worship, a way for you to email us, and also all our social media accounts, which you can already follow and subscribe to so you won't miss any content that we upload. Also, one other thing to mention, we created this new YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe because starting with August 5, we'll be live streaming our first service. Uh, you can find all the links in the description of this video, and I encourage you to visit them. We have great plans ahead, and we're working to upload more videos like this one that have to do either with new features or updates about our new construction project. Until then, start exploring our new website. And if you see anything that catches your attention, something that we've missed, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, also, if you have any concerns or if you only want to bring a word of encouragement, it means a lot to us. Thank you for watching. May God bless you and see you next time.